G'day, welcome to shearingandfencing.com.au. Today I'm going to take you through replacing a PC board in your solar powered electric fence energizer. Here we are, we tip the energizer upside down. I've already taken these screws out of the base of this energizer using the appropriate sized screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. So keep them all in a bunch together. As you'll see, the screws inside the energizer, where we take off the old PC board <coughs> are a different type of screw. I'll put them over there. So what we need to do first of all is to take off these nuts which attach to the connections at the front. So they're taken, put them to one side and what we need to do then is to disconnect from the switch the two blue cords now it doesn't matter um, which which side they go back onto, so you just keep them well, keep them to one side so they're easy to work upon. Then undo little connections. That connection there belongs to the light on this side, so keep that separate. This connection belongs to the solar panel up in there, and this connection here. belongs to the 240 volt recharger. You mustn't get those connections mi mixed up. Now here we are, just undo these screws in here, keep them to one side. Lift it off the battery casing and just undo your battery connections. Here we are. Now for the new one. Make sure that these red terminals are at the front we put those on those bolts on those nuts on tighten them up at the end. Yeah. These blue lines here, it doesn't matter which side they go in as long as they're into the switches. And this one here goes over to here. That is the 240 volt connector which will charge it if you don't get very much sun and this one here runs from your light it's the one separate by itself click it down make sure it goes in properly and this one here's your solar connection and here we are Quite simple to put in. Mm. 
the correct type of screwdriver is very important so you don't burr the edge of the screw. Now put all six in there and then it's easy to reconnect. Put your positive terminal, the red onto the red. Here we are, the black onto the black for your battery. And we haven't connected all these up just for demonstration purposes. Make sure they're all tight. This slips down into the groove. Like that. Tip it up, holding the, the base. Gentle over the top. Make sure all your wires are within the casing. Like that. And then it's just a matter of screwing back into the casing, the screws. And your energizer should go. The light's working. <laughs>